go. You're good. Two out spaces empty for Grayson Swanson. Hawk starter Cole McDaniel working efficiently. Retired the first two batters in the Bulldogs order with ease. His pitch here is down and in for ball one. McDaniel winds the 1-0. High and away, ball two. For the Hawks starter, McDaniel enters play today with a 466 ERA and nine and two thirds innings pitched, making his fourth appearance here in 2023. This one misses high, 3 0. For the Hawks overall, they interplay today with an even 500 record, 4-4 four four on the year. As the 3-0 from McDaniel misses high and away, it's a two-out walk to Grayson Swanson. And the first base runner of the game comes via the free pass. Here were two outs in the first inning. Blake Barrett, the Bulldogs' DH, will be the batter now. Barrett, an even 300 hitter, through 20 at-bats on the year. There's a strike from McDaniel, 0-1. Nice job to get back in the zone after the four-pitch walk to Grayson Swanson. He stands at first here with two outs in the first inning. McDaniel checks the runner now to the plate. Swung on and hit in the air, right side. Second baseman Leon going out. He'll be called off by the right fielder, Pager. He puts it away for the final out of the inning. No runs, no hits, and one left for the Bulldogs in the top of the first inning. We head to the bottom of the inning. No score.
Ready to go here in the bottom of the first inning. It'll be Tommy Schroeder leading things off for the Hawks in the home half of the first. On the mound for the Union University Bulldogs will be Sam Poindexter, the six foot four junior from Collierville, Tennessee, a graduate of the aptly named Collierville High School. Wines and delivers his first pitch to Schroeder, which is swung on and missed. Strike one. The lefty deals high and away. Schroeder batting at the top of the Hawks order, like he did on Tuesday during the Hawks 4 1 win against Carson Newman. Takes high here for ball two. Line hard in the air to right center field. The center fielder Frierson on the run. He lays out, and he can't make the play. It's off his glove. Schroeder will slide into second base. It's a leadoff double for the Shorter Hawks. Trey Frierson almost made an amazing play in right center field. Went diving headfirst after the baseball. It appeared that he caught it at first glance but it just sprayed out of his glove, and luckily for the Hawks, Tommy Schroeder stands at second base, and the Hawks are in business early here in the bottom of the first inning. Norman Leon, the batter now, moving up in the order to the two slot. He takes high for ball one. We'll see what kind of strategy the Hawks employ here. Will they let Norman Leon swing away, or will they try for the bunt? Bulldogs suspect bunt. The corners are playing in. Leon swinging away, and he fouls it straight back to the screen, one and one. Double number five on the year for Tommy Schroeder. He stands at second base here in the bottom of the first inning, representing the game's first run. Here it is from Poindexter in the dirt. Blocked by the catcher, Ben Smith. Two one on the way, foul back. That evens the count. Poindexter checks the runner. He steps off and fires back to second base. And well behind Tommy Schroeder. Poindexter ready. The 2-2. Grounded to third. Backhanded. Stabbed by the third base. And the throw across the diamonds in time to retire Leon. But moving up to third base on the throw is Tommy Schroeder. Heads up base running there by the Hawks shortstop. Advances him 90 feet to third base. And there he will stand for Jacob Pager, the Hawks right fielder. Nice play on the backhand by Mitch Sisk, the Bulldogs third baseman. And a strong throw across the diamond to retire Leon. Leon retired for out number one. And in steps Jacob Pager with a chance to drive in the Hawks first run of the afternoon. Flies this one in the air to right. Shavy's in pursuit, coming in. Makes the catch. Schroeder will tag. Here's the throw to the plate. It is not in time. Sacrifice fly by Jacob Pager. Scores Tommy Schroeder from first, and the Hawks strike first. Here in the first, they lead one to nothing. That'll bring up Gavin Millines, the Hawks DH, with the bases empty and two gone, following the sacrifice fly by Jacob Pager. Give him the RBI. Schroeder the run scored. As Millines takes a strike here, 0-1. Always great for the Hawks to grab an early lead. As Poindexter deals to the plate. Line right side, right to Shavies. He comes in a few steps and puts it away for out number three. Well struck by Millines, but to no avail. Shavies is there to put it away. 
But the Hawks strike first in the first. We head to the second. They lead one to nothing. Cole McDaniel back to work in the top of the second after he pitched a scoreless frame back in the game's opening inning. Five, six, and seven in the order for the Bulldogs, beginning with third baseman Mitch Sisk. McDaniel winds his first pitch. Swung on in this, strike one. a native of Jackson, Tennessee. Also, coincidentally, where Union University is located, Jackson, Tennessee, as he swings and misses through this one again, strike two. Ends at third safely. Ben Smith, the catcher of the batter now. They bun, it's popped up right side. It's going to be a foul ball. Bulldogs were looking to squeeze that run home from third with the catcher Ben Smith at the plate. Smith cannot keep the button fair territory. It's strike one. Bulldogs threatening to tie this game up or perhaps take the lead. Runners at the corners here. McDaniels ready in the pitch. Down and in. Daniels came with the curveball, but not in the zone. Pitch from McDaniel. It's another bunt, but he pulls back. Pitch missed down and in. It's ball two. See if the Bulldogs try to bunt again. They do not. Instead, it's ripped in the air to left. Barnes will make the catch. Runner at third tags. The throw back into the infield will be cut off, and the Bulldogs tie the game. It's one to one. Sacrifice fly from Ben Smith. Give him the RBI, and we're all knotted up at one run apiece here in the second inning. Trey Frierson, the nine-hole hitter, will bat now. Man at first, two outs here in the second. Pick off over to first. Well late. McDaniel sets. Pick off again over to first. And nice job by Tyler McWillie to range off the bag and track that one down. Prevent a throwing error from Cole McDaniel on the pickoff.
Trey Frierson, a senior from Canton, Mississippi, swings and misses, strike one. Frierson to transfer from Copia Lincoln Community College, playing here for Union today. Takes strike two. Over the outside edge. Frierson asked the home plate umpire about that call and was told as much by the umpire. He's down on the count, nothing and two against Cole McDaniel. 0-2. Oh Softly hit in the air to right, coming on Pager. He makes the running grab to retire the side. But the Hawks surrender a run and let the Bulldogs tie the game, courtesy of the sacrifice fly from Ben Smith. We head to the bottom of the second, all tied at one apiece. Logan Stockton set to lead things off for the Hawks in the home half of the second inning. Looking to get back that run that the Bulldogs put on the board in the top half of the second. Stockton a 280 hitter and 25 at-bats this year. Takes outside for ball one. Nice job by Cole McDaniels to work out of some danger there, surrendering just one run. On the sacrifice fly, Stockton sends this one skyward out of play foul. Point Dexter winds. The pitch. Chopped to third. It'll be handled cleanly. The throw across the first in time. Stockton retired for the first out in the second. Second put out of the game for Mitch Sisk and Justin Barnes, the Hawks left fielder, will bat. Barnes getting the start and left today. Battles Sam Poindexter and awaits the first pitch. Outside. Barnes a 313 hitter and 16 at bats. Five hits, including a double. This one misses away, 2 0. Two zero from Poindexter, at the knees but misses three zero. Not a bad pitch at all there by the lefty Sam Poindexter, but not to the liking of the home plate umpire. Fortunately for the Hawks, this one's a strike three and one. Poindexter came back with a fastball, and we'll see what he follows with on the three one. Outside ball four, one out walk for Justin Barnes. Second walk of the year for Justin Barnes. He stands at first now for the first baseman, Tyler McWillie. Point Dexter, pick off over to first. Well late. Grant, Ra Grant Ross, the Bulldogs first baseman, elected not to tag Barnes. That simply flipped it back to the mound. Point Dexter ready again, this time to the plate. It's down low, ball one. 
Again, not a bad miss from Sam Poindexter. But through the early going, the home plate umpire has shown that he is unwilling to expand his zone. So we'll see how that factors into the finish here. As Poindexter comes to the plate and is swung on and missed by McWillie, strike one. One ball, one strike, one on, one out for the Hawks here in the bottom of the second inning. Game tied at one apiece. Pick off again to first. Again a pick off the first and again Justin Barnes back in safely. Barnes goes back into the bag, standing. Seems that Poindexter's pickoff move pretty well figured out. Long check of the runner by Poindexter, this time to the plate, outside. Threat of Justin Barnes, perhaps paying dividends here for the Hawks. He's getting a lot of attention from the lefty Sam Poindexter. Swing and a miss. Got the fastball by the bat of McWillie to even the count. Two balls and two strikes with a man on here and one out in the bottom of the second inning. Pick off again to first and again Barnes back safely. Willie, a senior from Watrous, Saskatchewan, Canada. Faces a 2-2 count. Long look in by Poindexter. Now he comes to the plate, and McWillie spoils it and sends it out of play foul. Good at bat here from Tyler McWillie. In the air to left center field, fairly deep. Frierson going back towards the wall, and he makes the leaping grab. McWillie gave that one a ride, but a nice leaping grab by Trey Frierson retires him for the second out of the inning. Wind blowing straight out to center field. Almost caught that one and took it along with it. But unfortunately for the Hawks, the yard able to hold it. And there's two outs now for the Hawks' third baseman, Jacob Woods. Pitch from Poindexter, a strike. Pitch from Poindexter, misses high and away, ball one. Poindexter pitching to the tune of a 2-8-4 ERA in 12 and 2 thirds inning pitch entering play today. He's already conceded a run here in this one. Hawks looking for another here in the second inning with two outs. Pick off over to first. Not close. Barnes back safely. Poindexter just looking perhaps to keep Barnes honest over at first. Barnes has yet, not yet attempted a steal on the season. Well, not here, as a fastball just misses low. Again, the home plate umpire doing no favor to the pitchers today. Looks to have a very small zone behind the plate. The 2-1. Hit hard in the center field, a base hit. Barnes will round the bag at second and head to third. He'll arrive there without a throw, and a single from Jacob Woods puts runners at the corners with two outs. Nice piece of hitting there by Jacob Woods. A simple line drive into center field. Advances Barnes all the way to third base, and the Hawks are threatening here with two outs, looking to break this tie and get a second run at least on the board. Second hit of the afternoon for the Hawks. 
Comes from Jacob Woods, who stands at first. Pitch from Poindexter to Cody Krause is swung on and missed. Strike one. Krause looking to cash in this RBI chance here. Runners at the corners. Takes in the dirt. Woods is going to move up to second base. A wild pitch from Sam Boindexter, and the Hawks now have two men in scoring position with two away. Dexter steps off. Will recollect himself on the mound and prepare for a big pitch here to Cody Krause. Krause fouls this one out of play. Krause looking for RBI number three and four on the year and would be given exactly that with a base hit here. He awaits the 2-2 two two pitch from lefty Sam Poindexter. Here it is, fouled back again. Hawks with a golden opportunity to break this tie and jump out in front to get another lead. And it's second and third here, two gone in the second. Two-two. Two-two. Downstairs, and it's a full count to the Hawks center fielder. First base is open, but a walk to Krause would bring up the top of the Hawks order and Tommy Schroeder, who already doubled off of Poindexter to open the, back, the bottom of the first inning. 3-2. High ball four, and it will bring up Tommy Schroeder with the bases loaded in two outs here in the bottom of the second. Hawks shortstop Tommy Schroeder came into play today, batting 333 and 21 at bats. Already a double to his credit back in the first inning. Bases loaded. First pitch from Poindexter is in the dirt, blocked nicely by the catcher Ben Smith. A run saving block, in fact. Smothered a fastball in the dirt. Not an easy block for a catcher. But he keeps the Hawks runners right where they are. When a pitch grounded sharply left side and threw a base hit. Barnes will score. Woods on his way to the plate. The throw will go to second. And that makes Tommy Schroeder retreat back to first. Moving up to third is Cody Kraus. A two RBI single from Tommy Schroeder. His second hit of the afternoon makes it a 3-1 Hawks lead. Second hit of the inning, both coming with two outs, and it's up to Norman Leon if the Hawks are to add on and push that lead out even further. Runners at the corners again. Leon takes a strike, nothing in one. For Schroeder, a sharply hit ball through the left side. Third baseman Mitch Sisk had no chance, nor did shortstop Britt Netterville. Perfectly placed single, brought home two. As Poindexter deals way outside, ball one. Another heroic effort by Ben Smith behind the dish. Saved a run there, certainly. Schroeder takes his lead off of first. Krause at third. Point extra to the plate. Grounded sharply left side and foul. Two RBIs for Schroeder on that hit, his fifth and sixth of the year. He's off to a great start in 2023. As Poindexter brings the 1-2 to the plate, and Leon fouls it back. Nice job by Leon to spoil an off-speed pitch from Sam Poindexter and extend the inning for at least one more pitch.
Off the end of the bat to first, it'll be fielded by the first baseman, Grant Ross, who takes it to the back himself to retire the side. But the Hawks strike for two runs on two hits and strand two more on base. We head to the third inning. Hawks now in front, 3-1. to one. Cole McDaniel back to work in the top of the third inning. He'll be greeted by the top of the order, starting with Carson Shavies, the Bulldog right fielder. Shavies popped out weakly to third to open the game, getting his second chance here in the third inning. First pitch is upstairs, ball one. McDaniels yielded a run back in the second inning, looking to keep... The Bulldogs scoreless, as he did back in the first. Strike called. McDaniels comes back with a fastball after the miss to even the count. Strike two on the outside corner. Another fastball from McDaniels and another strike. Daniel ready, the one-two, in the dirt. McDaniel went with an off-speed pitch, and it missed low in the dirt, but to the liking of this catcher, Logan Stockton, did exactly what he asked. But here's the two-two, outside, three and two. Daniels followed the breaking ball with a fastball and just missed the outside corner. A full count now to Carson Chavies. Full count pitch is popped up right side. Should be playable for Tyler McWilly. He calls for it and puts it away. Out number one. Second pop out of the afternoon for Carson Chavies. This one to the opposite corner at first. Bases empty for Britt Netterville, the Bulldog shortstop. Nice job by McDaniel to retire the leadoff man. As Netterville takes a strike, nothing in one. Chavis perhaps the Bulldogs' most dangerous hitter. He entered play today with a team-leading 370 average. It's always nice to keep him off base. As McDaniel brings the 0-1 to the plate, he misses high. Popped up right side. McWilly coming over will give it a look, nearing the wall and runs out of room. It's strike two. McWilly ranged to his left over to the visiting bullpen, but simply ran out of room where it fell harmlessly for strike two. McDaniel ahead, the pitch. Swung on a miss, strike three. Britt Netterville set down on strikes. Strikeout number one for Cole McDaniel here in this one. Two up and two down here in the third.
Base is empty for the three-hole hitter, Grayson Swanson. Bulldogs left fielder drew a walk, his first plate appearance. Swings and fouls one back, 0-1. On Bulldogs were unable to cash in the two-out walk back in the first by Cole McDaniel as Blake Barrett flew out to right to conclude that frame. McDaniel looking to keep him off base altogether here. He's ahead, nothing in one of the count. This one's in the dirt. Looked to be an off-speed pitch there from McDaniel. Couldn't get Grayson Swanson to expand his zone and chase. That evens the count at a ball and a strike. Off-speed pitch locks him up, strike two. McDaniels came back with a breaking ball. Swanson had no answer for it at the plate. Here it is from McDaniel. Upstairs and away. Ball two. McDaniels with a fastball that time. Well out of the zone. Two two pitch coming. Down low, ball three. McDaniels took a took took a step back towards the dugout. Thought that one perhaps should have been strike three. But again, keeping with the theme of a small strike zone behind the plate, Hopeland Opire did not oblige. Instead, it's a full count. Here it is from McDaniels, grounded to third and foul. Do it again. Three balls and two strikes. Bases empty, two out here in the third. Hawks have an early 3 1 lead. Pitch from McDaniels, chopped to third. This one will be a fair ball. Fielded by Woods, the throw across is not in time. Tough play, a slow chopper right over the bag at third. Woods fielded it and could not get it across the first base in time. It's a two-out infield single for Grayson Swanson, his second time on base in his many plate appearances. So the Bulldogs will have a two-out base runner. Man aboard at first for Blake Barrett, the Bulldogs' DH. He flied out to conclude the first inning. In a situation very similar to this one. As he fouls this one back for strike one. Daniels ready, the 0-1. Foul right side again, nothing in two. McDaniels way ahead. No balls and two strikes. Looking to escape the inning unharmed. Runners going. Pitches grounded to third and foul off the facing of the Hawks dugout. The runner will reset and we'll do it again 0-2. McDaniels came in with an off-speed pitch, had him out in front, and he yanked it left side foul. Missed away. Bear came into play today, a 300 hitter and 20 at-bats. Awaits the one-two pitch from Cole McDaniels. Grounded right side. It'll be fielded cleanly by Leon. And the flip onto the bag at first to retire the side. For the Bulldogs, no runs, one hit, and a man left. We head to the bottom of the third inning. Hawks in front, 3-1. to one.
Right fielder Jacob Pager to lead things off for the Hawks in the home half of the third inning. Bulldog starter Sam Poindexter remains on the mound. Hawks have scored on him in each of the first two innings as they hope to continue that trend here in the third. Pedro sacrificed flying an RBI, brought home Tommy Schroeder in his first plate appearance. Takes strike one here, nothing in one. Swings, and excuse me, swing, and fouled back. Poindexter's ahead of Pedro, nothing in two. Poindexter ready, the 0-2. Swung on and missed, strike three. Pager set down on strikes to open the third, one away. Base is empty now for Gavin Millines, the Hawks cleanup hitter and DH. Millines hitting a team leading 393 entering play today as he grounds this one to shortstop. Fielded cleanly by Netterville and quickly two gone here in the inning. Milan set down 6-3, to three and bases are empty now for catcher Logan Stockton. Who looks to keep the inning alive with two gone. Hawks in danger of their first 1-2-3 and first scoreless inning. And Stockton takes inside, sends him out of the way of that one, ball one. Inside fastball there from Poindexter, nearly got a piece of the Hawks catcher Logan Stockton. One of those in there for strike one. Upper outside edge of the zone. Pung Dexter caught it to even the count. Breaking ball in there for strike two. Nice backdoor breaking ball by Sam Pung Dexter. He's way ahead of the Hawks catcher here. A ball and two strikes. One two pitch. Hit in the air to right center field. Frierson coming on. He can't get there. It's a hit. Nice piece of hitting by Logan Stockton, a backside single into right center field outside the grasp of Trey Frierson, and the Hawks will have a two-out base runner for Justin Barnes. Barnes walked and eventually came around to score on the Schroeder RBI single. Hawks will look to get on the scoreboard for the third consecutive inning. Two out base runner stands at first, Logan Stockton. And the Hawks left fielder, Justin Barnes, the batter. Pitch to the plate, all speed pitch, strike one. Point extra pulled the string on Barnes there for strike number one in the at bat. We'll see what he brings with the 0 1. Hit in the air to center field, fairly deep. Frierson retreats a few steps, but has no trouble with it. Puts it away to retire the side. No runs, a hit, and a man left. We head to the fourth inning. Hawks still lead 3-1. to one.
Ready to go in the top of the fourth. It'll be Mitch Six to lead things off for the Bulldogs in the top half of the fourth inning. First pitch from Cole McDaniel is in the dirt, ball one. They appeal the check swing down to first, but no swing, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Swing and a miss. Six took a hack at a fastball and came up empty. McDaniels issued Mitch Sisk a free pass in his first plate appearance. Well-earned walk, though. It was a long at-bat. As Sis swings and misses here for strike two. Sis was down on the count, nothing in two, and battled back to earn a walk. His last at bat. One two from McDaniels, up and in. Ball two. Sis batting 320 through 25 at bats, entering play today. He awaits the 2 2 from McDaniel, fouled back. Sis came in today with a team leading nine RBIs, tied with Britt Netterville for tops on the squad. Another 2 2. Fouled back again. Another long at bat from Mitch Sisk. He's made Cole McDaniel work today. Worked a walk his first time up. McDaniel looking to avoid the same fade here. Faces a 2 and 2 count to the first batter at the top of the fourth inning, Mitch Sisk. Swing and a miss. McDaniel finally wears him down. He gets a fastball by him. Strikeout number two on the day for Cole McDaniel. Out number one here in the top of the fourth inning. First baseman Grant Ross, the batter now. First pitch from McDaniels, down and away, ball one. Off the glove of Logan Stockton on that one as he tried to frame it up. Taps his chest twice, has to say, my bad, to his pitcher. Probably wouldn't have been a strike anyway. As the 1-0 -oh bends back in the zone for strike one. Nice pitch there from Cole McDaniel on a 1-0 -oh count. Breaking ball to even the count. Hit in the air to left, coming on Barnes, he won't have a play, it's a base hit. Not hit all that well, but a line drive single, opposite field for Grant Ross. Men on and one out now for Alec Hardy, the Bulldogs second baseman. Third hit of the afternoon for the Bulldogs, first for Ross. Daniel deals to Alec Hardy, who takes a strike on the outside corner. Nothing in one. Hardy singled through the left side his first time up. McDaniel looking for a double play ball here. One on, one out, as this one skied in the air to right field. Pager moving over, should have no trouble with it, and does not. Out number two. Hardy flies out to right field. He's out number two in the inning. Runner at first, Ross, and Ben Smith, the catcher of the batter now. Takes strike one. one from McDaniels. Sky in the air to left. Barnes coming on as is Kraus. It'll be Barnes to take it and put it away to retire the side. Nothing doing for the Bulldogs. They strand a runner aboard. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Hawks still in front three to one.
Bottom third of the order, due up for the Hawks, 7-8-9. Starting with first baseman Tyler McWillie. McWillie and the Hawks will look to get back on the scoreboard following a scoreless bottom of the third inning. Hawks already have a two-run lead, but looking for more here off of starter Sam Poindexter, who is of work. First pitch misses outside for ball one. Willie flew out deep to center field his first time up. As he lines this one hard, left side and foul. McWillie just missed extra bases by a few feet. Out in front of a fastball and yanked it down the line for a foul ball. This one's in the air to center again. Frierson comes in, now retreats back a few steps and puts it away. Out number one, McWillie retired on a fly out to center field. Second time McWillie scot out the center field. This one a little less dramatic than the first. In his first at bat, Frierson made an amazing leaping grab, nearing the wall in center to set down McWillie. This time a more standard fly out. As Jacob Woods bats with the bases empty, he fouls this one back, nothing in one. Woods started a two out rally for the Hawks, singled into center field, and eventually came around to score the Hawks' third run. In the dirt, ball one. Woods would eventually come around to score on Tommy Schroeder's RBI single. To put the lead right where it is at 3-1. to one. This one skies softly in the air to center field. Frierson coming in and puts this one away as well. Two outs. Back-to-back -back fly outs to center field for the Hawks. And Cody Krause will bat with the bases empty. It's a bunt attempt. It's a good one. In front of the plate, the catcher Smith pounces on it, throws the first, in time. Late call at the bag by the first base umpire. Bang, bang, play at the bag, and it goes in favor of the Bulldogs. And that will retire the side. A great bunt attempt by Cody Krause, nearly legged it out. But unfortunately, the Hawks are set down one, two, three in the fourth. We head to the fifth. Cole McDaniel back out to start the top of the fifth inning. He'll be greeted by 9-1-2 in the Bulldog order, beginning with Trey Frierson, the Bulldog center fielder. Frierson was a busy man in the last inning, recording two flyouts in center. Leading things off here in the top half of the fifth for the Bulldogs, who trail by two. Four solid innings of work for Cole McDaniel thus far. Just the one run allowed. Frierson Buns has popped up in front of the plate. Fielded on the bare hand by Stockton. The flip on the first will be too tall for Tyler McWillie to handle. He comes off the bag, and that will allow Trey Frierson to reach first base. It scored a hit. A leadoff bunt single for Trey Frierson to open the fifth. Stockton did a nice job coming out of the crowd to pounce on that one. Fielded it with the bare hand. Good throw would have gotten him, but a tough play to make for a catcher moving to his left and changing directions to throw across to the bag. 
So Frierson the board safely at first. This one's outside for ball one to Carson Shavies, the Bulldog leadoff man. Shavies a dangerous hitter, but McDaniel's done a nice job keeping him quiet. Dangerous count to a good hitter, the 2-0 pitch. Up and away, ball three. Shavies is a team leading five bases on balls. McDaniel in danger of losing him here. And he does, this ball four. A four pitch walk for Carson Shavies. And the Bulldogs threatening here early in the top of the fifth. Two on and nobody out. Britt Netterville will be the batter. 0 for 2 day for him thus far. Just one run for the Bulldogs thus far, but looking to change that here. Netterville squares around a bunt and pulls back. Pitch misses at the plate for a ball. Not a bad pitch at all. McDaniels perhaps feeling a little squeezed on the mound. Five consecutive balls for him now after the leadoff infield single, courtesy of the bunt from Trey Frierson. Netterville once again squares around the bunt. The runners are going. The throw will go down to third, and it is in time to get him. Frierson cut down at third base on the fake bunt attempt by Britton Netterville. Stocked him with a bullet down to the bag at third and a nice tag by Jacob Woods. And there's one gone in the inning after the caught stealing. Shavies moves down to second on that one. So still a man in scoring position for the Bulldogs. And a 2-0 count on Britton Netterville. And that'll draw out pitching coach Craig Folds for a visit on the mound. He'll talk things over to Cole McDaniel. Daniels down in the count, 2-0. Craig Foles retreats back to the dugout after the meeting on the mound. Hopefully with some inspiring words to Cole McDaniel. Six straight misses from Cole McDaniel after the leadoff bunt single. 2-0. Swing and a miss. McDaniel comes back with a strike and Grayson Swanson, excuse me, Britt Netterville, swung on and missed. Netterville bats with a man a second after the caught stealing at third base of Trey Frierson. Swing and a miss again. Another fastball from McDaniel and Netterville came up empty once again. Netterville from Centralville, Centralville Mississippi. He awaits the 2-2, skied in the air to right. Gave me the top of the fifth unharmed. Grayson Swanson, the batter now. Bulldogs in danger of wasting a golden opportunity. Had two on and nobody out. As Swanson lines this one into the left to base hit. Shavies will get the wave around. Here's the throw from Barnes. It's cut off by Woods. The throw to the plate is offline. Now they throw back to first base, and that's not in time either. An RBI single from Grayson Swanson chases home Carson Shavies, and the Bulldogs cut into the deficit. It's now just a 3-2 Hawks lead. 
Swanson wasting little time. He jumped on the first pitch and lined it into left field. Swanson stands at first base now for Blake Barrett, the Bulldogs' designated hitter. In the air to right, and out of play foul. Daniels trying to limit the damage to just one run. Grayson Swanson stands at first after the RBI single and a pickoff by McDaniel chases him back to the bag. Swanson goes head first in with a slide. Back to his feet now and he takes his lead. 0 for 2 day thus far for Blake Barrett. Another pickoff over to first and once again Swanson back safely with a dive. RBI number seven on the year for Grayson Swanson. Pitch from McDaniels is fouled out of play, nothing in two. Had it not been for the Logan Stockton throw out of Trey Frierson at third base, we'd be tied right now at three apiece. Nice job by the Hawks backstop to prevent that run from scoring as this one misses in the dirt for ball one. Blocked up nicely by the aforementioned Logan Stockton. Hang himself quite a nice game behind the plate today for the Hawks. Hardy, six foot two, 235 pounds. A transfer from Lincoln Trail Community College. Playing in a senior city. Currently trail three to two to the Hawks. Time called at the plate. Time was asked for there by Logan Stockton, the Hawks catcher. Not sure exactly what the stoppage was for, but he looks ready to go now. As Cole McDaniel is ready for a 2-2 pitch to Blake Barrett. Fouled away. Barrett spoils a fastball up in the zone and stays alive to see another pitch. Big pitch here. Don't want to get to three and two with two outs. And instead, it runs inside and drills him. A hit by a pitch for Blake Barrett will extend the inning. And the Bulldogs have runners at first and second now for Mike, Mitch Sisk, rather. Two on, two out for Mitch Sisk. The Bulldogs third baseman. Sisk has been a tough at bat all day long. And he takes low here for ball one. Sisk has walked and struck out in two at bats, so both of them were very long. Seen a lot of pitches today from Cole McDaniel. Tying run at second base, Grayson Swanson. Go ahead run at first, Blake Barrett. Cole McDaniel looking to keep them right there at end the inning. Swing and a miss. Daniel gets a fastball by the bat of Sisk to even the count. Foul straight back. Sisk looked to be right on top of that one. But he just caught a piece and sent it back to the screen. Daniel ahead, a ball and two strikes. On the Bulldogs third baseman, strike away from escaping the inning and keeping the Hawks in front. Lee currently stands at one. Daniel sets, checks the runner, now comes to the plate with the one-two, it's outside. Another quality at bat here from Mitch Sisk. Seen a lot of pitches from the Hawks starter today. Here in his third at bat, faces a 2-2 two two count with two men on and two out here in the fifth. Time asked for again by Logan Stockton behind the plate. 
shakes out his catcher's helmet, dusts it off, and looks to be ready to go now. Brief delay in the action, but we're ready to go once more. Big 2-2 two two pitch here to Mitch Sisk. They back pick the second, and no throw from McDaniel. Bulldogs unhappy with the frequent stoppages here from the Hawks battery of Logan Stockton and Cole McDaniel. Third base coach now will come in and have a discussion with the home plate umpire. For the Union Bulldogs, a brand new coaching staff this year, Casey McGee, the head coach, and the assistant coach, Riley Self, both in their first seasons. Chance for the Bulldogs to tie the game or perhaps take the lead with an extra base hit. Big 2-2 pitch from Cole McDaniel is fouled away again. Without a doubt, Mitch Sisk has been the best at-bat in the Bulldogs lineup today for them. A lot of long at-bats, three for three in that category so far today. Walking a strikeout to his credit thus far. And we'll see what he has for Cole McDaniels here with a 2-2. Popped up, right side, and out of play. Mitch Sisk will see yet another pitch from Cole McDaniel. Siskin play today with just four walks. Already has one here today, pushing his season total to five. And another 2-2 pitch. Outside, 3-2, and two, a full count to Mitch Sisk. Runners will be on the move here, and a hit will assuredly score the tying run for the Bulldogs. Perhaps the biggest pitch of the game to this point coming for Cole McDaniel. Two on, two out. Here it is. Fouled back again. Another full, pa full count pitch coming for Cole McDaniel. The runners take off. It's line left side and through a base hit. Around third comes Swanson. The throw will head to third. And the Bulldogs have scored two runs here in the fifth inning to tie the game at three runs a side. An incredible at bat from Mitch Sisk. Fouled off countless pitches and eventually lined a base hit into left field. Chasing home Grayson Swanson to tie the game at three. Out comes Wes Timmons, and it appears that will conclude the afternoon for Hawk starter Cole McDaniels. He will depart with two on and two out here in the fifth inning.
new reliever for the Hawks is righty Carson Cook, the six foot even senior from Bremen, Georgia, will take the mound and look to put out the fire here in the fifth inning. Two runs already across for the Bulldogs. Courtesy of RBIs from Grayson Swanson and Mitch Sisk. They chase the Hawks starter Cole McDaniel. And the Hawks starter Cole McDaniel. And they're threatening for more. Grant Ross, the Bulldog first baseman, will be the batter. McDaniel on the hook for both runners on base as Cook drops in an off-speed pitch for strike one. Cook a 4.05 ERA and six and two-thirds innings pitched. Cook has walked three and struck out three this year. Another breaking ball and another swing and a miss from Grant Ross. Cook way ahead, no balls and two strikes. Looking to escape the jam here in the top half of the fifth inning and keep the score right where it is. Cook ready, the 0-2. In the dirt, it bounces in front of Stockton, but no advance from either runner. Nice job by Stockton to keep that one at bay. Pounce quickly out of the crouch. One two count now for Hawks reliever Carson Cook. The first man out of the bullpen today for Shorter Hawks. Cook ready. Checks the runner and out of the plate with the one two. Down. Two balls, two strikes on Grant Ross. Pitch from Cook. In the air to center field. Right at Cody Kraus. He makes the catch to retire the side. But the Bulldogs strike for two to tie the game. We head to the bottom of the fifth. We're halfway home, all tied at three apiece. Leadoff man Tommy Schroeder set to lead things off for the Hawks here in the home half of the fifth inning. Hawks looking to break themselves out of this tie. They've now found themselves in after the Bulldogs put up two runs in the top half of the inning. Hawks will look to respond with some runs of their own here in the fifth. Sam Poindexter remains on the mound for the Bulldogs. His first pitch to Schroeder outside, ball one. Schroeder's had a productive day at the plate. Two hits and two at-bats, including a double and a single. Two RBIs for him as well as he takes a strike on the inside. 1-1 one, one now is down low. All-speed pitch from Poindexter, perhaps a change-up. Missed just above the dirt. Poindexter winds. Here it is to Schroeder. Fouled back. Schroeder got a fastball, and he scotted out of play off to the right side. Hawks looking to put some runs on the board. They've been held out of the run column the previous two innings after putting up one and two runs respectively in the first and second innings. Line left side over the dugout and press box. Count remains two and two. Nice in the bottom of the fifth inning. Hawks looking to break this tie. And it starts with getting the leadoff men on base. Hawks shortstop Tommy Schroeder awaits the 3-2. It's outside, ball four, and the Hawks will get that leadoff base runner. Leadoff free pass for Tommy Schroeder. And there's a man on now for Norman Leon. Third time on base already for Tommy Schroeder today. Here play today, batting 385. Good for second highest on the team. This 
seventh ball for Leon. Entered play today with an impressive 485 on base percentage. High and away. Ball one. We last saw Leon in the five spot back on Tuesday against Carson Newman. Moving up in the order to the two hole today. Pick off over to first. That's Chase Schroeder back to the bag. Tag applied by Grant Ross. He drops the ball, but returns it back to his starter, Poindexter. Poindexter has some trouble early, but has since twirled two quiet innings in the third and fourth. Leon swings away and pops this one up into shallow right. Second baseman going out. The right fielder coming on. It'll be Carson Shavies to put it away for the first out of the inning. Leon unable to advance the runner in. Jacob Pager, the Hawks' right fielder, will be the batter. Quiet day from Pager, 0 for 2 thus far. Rather, Pager's 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly. Sacrifice flies do not count as official at bats. Does have an RBI to his credit on that sack fly. First pitch to him in the air to left. Grayson Swanson tracking it and has no trouble with it. Out number two. Pager ambushed the first pitch fastball. Appeared to be a little out in front. Hit it off the end of the bat and it was an easy out for Grayson Swanson and left. Pitch from Poindexter. Swing and a miss. That one gets away, but it'll be a foul ball at home plate. Shutter will be forced to head back to the bag at first after the foul ball. Shredder leads off at first to pitch to Millines. In the dirt, it gets away from the catcher. And moving down to second base will be Tommy Schroeder. So a break there for the Hawks. Pitch got away from the catcher, Ben Smith. He's in scoring position now at second with two out in the inning. Milan's team leading 12 R. Milan's with it, a defensive hack to foul it away for strike two. Point Dexter ahead of Milan's, a ball and two strikes. Tommy Schroeder, the Hawks short. Point Dexter checks the runner. Now to the plate. Called strike three. Milan strikes out looking at a fastball, and the Hawks strand the go-ahead run at second base. No runs, no hits, and one man left. We head to the sixth inning, all tied at three runs each. Ben Smith and Trey Frierson, 7, 8, 9 in the order for Union University. The Hawks and the Bulldogs deadlocked in a three-run tie. Carson Cook remains in the game for the Hawks. Came on to record the final out of the fifth inning as he bounces a curve. 
Cook came back with a fastball below the knees. And he's faced with a 2-0 count now against the Bulldogs second baseman, Alec Hardy. Downstairs again, 3-0. Cook having some trouble finding the zone to open up the sixth inning. We'll see if he can get back in the count here against Alec Hardy. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. Fastball right down Broad Street. Hardy from Wiggins, Mississippi, a transfer from Mississippi Gulf Community College. As he takes down low here for ball four, a leadoff walk for Alec Hardy. First walk issued by Carson Cook, third of the day for the Hawks pitching staff. Ben Smith, the Bulldogs backstop the batter now. Man at first, nobody out here in the sixth inning. Smith squares around a bunt. It's in the dirt. Moving up to second will be Hardy. He stands there safely with nobody out after the wild pitch. Bulldogs appear to be content to sacrifice Smith. He squared around a bunt, pulled back with the ball. Here with a man at second. He does indeed square around. It's bunted third base side and foul. After the foul bunt attempt by Smith, we'll see what the Bulldogs do here. One ball, one strike to count. The look in by Carson Cook. Checks the runner a second. Now it comes to the plate. He squares around the bunt right in front of home plate, and this one will trickle foul for strike two. Final line for the Hawks starter Cole McDaniel. Four and two thirds innings pitched, two strikeouts, two walks, five hits, and three runs allowed. One and two count on Ben Smith. Cook to the plate. Called strike three. Carson Cook locks up Ben Smith with a curveball and a big out number one there for the Hawks. Ben Smith set down looking for out number one. Not a productive at bat for Ben Smith. Two fouled bunt attempts and he takes Strike three on a curveball, unable to advance the runner to third. Hardy remains parked at second base, representing the go-ahead run. Trey Frierson, the center fielder, bat eventually was caught stealing at third base for the first out of the inning. you got to think the Bulldogs were kicking themselves as they prevented the time today. The Bulldogs have the lead. Run scored for Alec Hardy. First pitch to Carson Shavies is a ball. Shavies 0 for 2 on the day with a walk. And a Frierson takes his lead off of first. They pick off over to first. Close play, and he's back in with a dive. Good move there from Carson Cook. Person one for one in stolen base attempts on the season. Already been thrown out once today. This one misses down on the way 2-0. So that would make Free that would make Frierson one of two overall. Not running on the first two pitches. A 2 0 count on Carson Chavies. Down low, ball three. Perilous situation here, 3 0 count to Shavies. Cook comes in with a strike. Cook back in it, but still a dangerous count to a good hitter. Bulldog leadoff man, Carson Shavies. Manning right field today for Union University. 
Pick off over to first. Frierson back safely. Hit first with the dive. Cook gets his sign from his catcher, Stockton. Once again, another good move from Carson Cook, and they almost got Trey Frierson. Would have been his second out on the base pass today. But luckily for him and the Bulldogs, he still stands at first base. Take off to first again, and Frierson once again back safely. Carson Cook emptying the barrel in terms of pickoff moves over to first base. Comes to the plate this time and misses high for ball four. One out walk for Carson Shavies, his second in as many at bats. To get him out of the inning. Bulldogs already scored a run here in this inning to take the lead as Netterville swings and comes up empty for strike one. Cook starts him off with an off speed pitch. He's ahead in the count, nothing in one. Cook trying to limit the damage to just one run. Brings his 0-1. Down low in the dirt. Pitch from Cook. Down and away, 2-1. Netterville tied with Mitch Sisk for a team lead in RBIs, both sitting currently at nine apiece. Carson Cook and the Hawks leading, looking to keep him right there at nine RBIs. As the Bulldogs have already scored a run this inning to take the lead. Pitch from Cook just missed, ball three. Another dangerous count, three balls and a strike to Bulldog two-hole hitter Britt Netterville. Runners go. The pitch is a ball at the plate. Back-to-back -back walks for Carson Cook to load the bases. And here comes Wes Timmons to the mound. We'll have a pitching change here with the bases loaded and one out here in the top of the sixth inning. Landon Maynard, the new Hawks pitcher, six foot two junior from Wetumpka, Alabama, will take the mound in a dangerous situation. Bases loaded, one out, facing Bulldog left fielder Grayson Swanson. Already an RBI single to his credit thus far. One on one already across for the Bulldogs and looking for more. First pitch from Maynard. 
is off the end of the bat foul. Maynard starts him off with a breaking ball. Had Swanson way out in front. Swanson just a 222 hitter. But batting in the three hole today. Been on base two times, three times rather already. This one's in the air to left field. Barnes should have a play, makes the catch. Fires to the plate. It'll be cut off by Schroeder, a sacrifice fly for Grayson Swanson. Second run of the inning for the Bulldogs. They lead now 5-3. to three. Trey Frierson comes home to score. Charge that run to Carson Cook. Blake Barrett to batter now. Maynard misses outside. Ball one. Four runs in the previous two innings for the Bulldogs. They once trailed three to one, but now lead five to three. Hawks looking to keep it right there. Maynard to the plate. Strike called. Shavy stands at second. Netterville stands at first. Maynard sets. Now the 1-1. One, one. Strike two. Maynard paints a fastball right over the outside edge. He's ahead of the Bulldog designated hitter Blake Barrett. A ball and two strikes. Looking to come out of the bullpen and put it into the threat. Two runs already across for the Bulldogs. Maynard looking to keep it right there. The one-two. In the air to left center field. Barnes and Krause on the run. Barnes going back, and he makes a sliding grab. Outstanding play by Justin Barnes, ranging into left center field. And a nice play to keep the lead right where it is at 5-3 to three for the Bulldogs. Two more runs. We head to the bottom of the six. Bulldogs in front, 5-3. to three. Logan Stockton to lead things off for the Hawks in the bottom of the sixth inning. Three straight scoreless innings thrown by Sam Poindexter. Hawks looking to change that in the bottom of the sixth as they now trail in this one 5-3. to three. It was all Hawks early. They were in front 3-1. to one, And the Bulldogs have responded with two runs apiece in the fifth and sixth to grab the lead. First pitch from Poindexter to Stockton. Breaking ball, strike one. Poindexter paints a breaking ball over the outside corner. Nice pitch to start off Stockton here in the sixth. Oh, one, it's high and away. Hawks in danger of losing their first game at home this season. 2 and over in their previous two. Stockton takes outside, ball two. First conference game of the year for both these squads. Hawks were 15 and 14 in conference play in 2022. Uh, Stockton comes up empty, strike two. Two and two count. Sam Poindexter deals to Logan Stockton inside. Back Stockton off the plate and a full count to the Hawks catcher. 
Union and Shorter did not play in the 2022 season, but get to start off the conference season this year against one another. 3-2, down low, leadoff walk for Logan Stockton. Great at bat to open the sixth. Justin Barnes, the batter now. An incredible catch in the top half of the inning. Two runs already across for the Bulldogs and a leaping, sliding grab in left center field. Assuredly would have scored two more runs. So a potentially game-saving catch made by Justin Barnes. And we'll see what kind of heroics he has here at the plate in the sixth inning. First pitch from Poindexter. Breaking ball. Down low, ball one. If the Hawks can cash in Logan Stockton's leadoff walk and make a big inning here in the sixth. Breaking ball, top of the zone for a strike. Hawks dugout not overly receptive to that call. Breaking ball right at the top of the zone from the lefty Sam Poindexter. 1-1 one, one pitch. This one misses high, ball two. Poindexter came back with a fastball well above the zone. Pick off over to first, and Stockton head first slide into the bag. 0 for 1 of the day is Justin Barnes, though he does have a walk and a run scored. Two one, off the knuckles into center field. That's going to drop in a base hit. A single by Justin Barnes moves Logan Stockton down to second. Two on and nobody out here in the sixth for the Hawks. Certainly not a screamer off the bat of Justin Barnes, but that actually works. He dumps it into center field off the knuckles, and the Hawks are in business here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Tying run aboard. Justin Barnes at first, Logan Stockton at second, Tyler McWillie the batter. First pitch to him, in there for strike one. Breaking ball from Poindexter, gets ahead of the Hawks' first baseman. McWillie batting just 167 on the year, but a great opportunity to get on track. This one swung on and hit in the air to right, chasing back. Chavez to the wall. He's Mayer for the catch. Tagging is Stockton. He'll head to third. He'll arrive there safely. Runners at the corners after the flout to right by McWillie. And one out for Jacob Woods. So not a hit from McWillie. Still a productive at bat to move a runner further into scoring position. Stockton stands now at third. Barnes takes his lead off of first. And the Hawks third baseman, Jacob Woods, the batter now. Takes a strike at the knees, 0-1. Poindexter deals the 0-1. Fastball outside corner, strike two. Now with the no two count, Woods has to think about simply putting this ball in play. Medium deep fly ball should be deep enough to score Stockton from third and cut into this lead. For first to pick off over to first. Chases Barnes back to the bag. Cody Krause, the Hawks center fielder, waits on deck. Woods at the plate representing the go-ahead run here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Poindexter stares down Barnes at first. Now to the plate. Fastball swung on and foul tipped by Jacob Woods. He stays alive. Poindexter came in with an 0-2 fastball to Woods. And Woods just able to catch a piece to stay alive. Outside, delayed steal by Barnes. They throw down to second base. Stockton will come home to score. They've got Barnes in a pickle between first and second. Ross with the ball now. Flips it to the sh shortstop Netterville. Bluffs the throw, and the tag applied. 
But a job well done by Justin Barnes. The delayed steal brings home Logan Stockton, and the Hawks cut in the lead. It's now 5-4. to four. Base is empty now and two outs for Jacob Woods. And a 1-2 count on the Hawks' third baseman. Strike three called. Woods looks at a breaking ball, and Poindexter strikes him out to end the inning. But the Hawks cut into the lead. Stockton comes home to score on the delay steal by Justin Barnes. We head to the seventh inning. Hawks trail 5-4. Landon Maynard back to work here in the top of the seventh inning. He came on in relief in the sixth and did a nice job to limit the damage to just one run. He came in with the bases loaded and then allowed a sacrifice fly off the bat of Grayson Swanson. He'll face Mitch Sisk here to open the frame. First pitch from the Watumka, Alabama native is down and in for ball one. Sisk has had three great at-bats thus far. Seen a ton of pitches as he takes downstairs for ball two. On track to continue that trend here. Hitters count two balls and no strikes to the Bulldog third baseman. Down and away, 3-0. and Hawks after scoring one at the knees, strike one. Sisk had already started trotting towards first base, but will be forced to return after the strike call from the home plate umpire. Three run pitch, hard on the ground to short, fielded cleanly by Schroeder, gathers and throws in time for the first out. Nice job by Landon Maynard. 3 0 count, battles back and gets him to roll out to the shortstop Schroeder. Leadoff men set down here in the seventh inning. Bulldog first baseman. Owen pitch, rolled on the ground to second, fielded by Leon. He'll give McWillie a moment, flips it on over there for out number two. Two batters and two ground outs here in the seventh against Landon Maynard. And it's up to Alec Hardy if the Bulldogs are to be prevented from going one, two, three. Misses high. Swing and a miss by Hardy on a 2 0 count, 2 and 1. Bulldogs have left at least one man on base in every inning. In the dirt, 3 and 1. In total, eight men left on base for the Bulldogs offense through six and two thirds innings. 3 1 from Maynard, down and in ball four. And a two-out base runner for the Bulldogs in the seventh. Strike called 0-1 on Ben Smith, Bulldog catcher. 
Smith had two failed bunt attempts and subsequently struck out looking on a curveball from Carson Cook in his previous at bat. Had no balls and two strikes on Ben Smith. Pick off over to first. Chases Hardy back to the bag. Smith just a 143 hitter entering play today through just seven at bats, so a small sample size. Maynard sets. Now the one two. Outside, they back pick to first, and they got him. Top of the seventh inning. No runs, no hits, and nobody left. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Bulldogs in front, five to four. Hawks offense ready to go here in the bottom half of the seventh inning after a scoreless inning of relief from Landon Maynard. Hawks currently trail by one run. Hawks center fielder Cody Krause will start the inning. 9-1-2 and two, drew up for the shorter Hawks. Sam Poindexter remains on the mound as he gets a fastball by Cody Krause. Nothing in one. Point Dexter coming out for a seventh inning of work. Four earned runs on five hits for him thus far. Ooh, down and away. Called a strike on Cody Krause. Nothing in two. Off speed pitch there from Point Dexter. Way ahead of Krause. No balls and two strikes. Sky in the air. Right center field. Frierson and Chavez convert. It'll be Chavez to put it away for out number one. Hawks leadoff man Tommy Schroeder will be the batter. Perfect afternoon for him thus far. Two for two with a double, a single, and a walk. Reaching base in all three trips to the plate. Looking to keep that up here in his fourth here in the bottom of the seventh. First pitch to him is lined on the left field line and foul. Schroeder wasting little time. Jumped all over the first pitch. But could not keep it fair. A one from Sam Poindexter. At the knees, strike two. Good fastball there from the lefty, right at Schroeder's knees. And once again, he's way ahead, nothing in two. Popped up right side. Second baseman Hardy calling for it, and he puts it away in shallow right field. Two up and two down for the Hawks in the seventh. First time the Bulldogs have been able to retire Schroeder today. He pops out to the second baseman, Hardy, and the bases are empty for Norman Leon. First pitch to Leon is fouled out of play. Nothing in one. 0 for 3 afternoon thus far for Norman Leon. Looking to get on base here and start a two-out rally in front of Jacob Pager, who waits on deck. Down low with a breaking ball, one and one. Good take there by Norman Leon not to go after that one. This ball just above the shoe tops of the Hawks' second baseman. Sharply grounded left side and foul. 
Leon all over that one. But just Here it is from Poindexter. It's in the dirt and a full count to number eight. Big pitch here, 3-2. Two outs, and it's down low in the dirt, and a two-out walk, for which currently stands at 5-4. to four. And Finn Smith, the catcher, takes strike one. He was in the box when Alec Hardy was back-picked at first base by Logan Stockton to conclude the top of the seventh inning. Getting a fresh count here. 1-1 one, one from Nanny. Breaking ball, chopped at all territory. Smith will arrive at the bag safely. And that'll be scored an error on Jacob Woods. Trey Frierson, the center fielder, will be the batter now. Jacob Woods suspecting bunt. He's correct, but Frierson pulls back for a strike. Woods playing well in front of the third base bag on the grass. Frierson already with a bunt hit to his credit thus far in this one. See if the Bulldogs can employ more small ball strategies here. Oh, he is bunting this time and has fouled away at the plate. That'll be strike two, and Ben Smith will be forced to head back to the bag at first. A ball and two strikes now on the Bulldogs center fielder. Fierson batting 214 entering play today. Is not in time. Good turn at the bag by catch the speedy center fielder, Trey Frierson. A fielder's choice, five to four. One gone in the inning. Back to the top for Carson Chavies. Pitch from Nanny. Trips to the plate today. Shavies Manning right field today for the Bulldog, batting at the top of their order. Grounds one weakly to short. Schroeder will flip to the bag for one, and they'll have no play. Another fielder's choice, this time 6-4. to four. Nice play by Schroeder to get the lead runner. Two outs now and a man at first for Britt Netterville, the Bulldog shortstop. Working from the stretch, brings it to the plate. At the knee, strike one. Good fastball there from Trevor Nanny to get ahead of Britt Netterville. Netterville 0 for 3 on the afternoon. The walk and his last plate appearance. One one from Trevor Nanny. Down and away. Man at first, Carson Shavies. Nanny in danger of losing Britt Netterville. Two-hole hitter. Swanson. 3-1 from Nanny. Two-out walk from Trevor Nanny will bring up Grayson Swanson with two men aboard. Seventh walk of the day for the Hawks pitchers. Two on, two out. Nanny ready, the first pitch to Swanson. Breaking ball too low for ball one. Nanny a sacrifice flying an RBI, or rather for Swanson, excuse me, his last time up here, his 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Came up empty. Trevor Nanny snuck the fastball by him. 2-1 count now on Swanson. Nanny looking to pitch around the leadoff error. 
that allowed Ben Smith to reach first base. Subsequent fielder's choices. Followed by a walk. Curveballs popped up left side. Woods in foul territory makes the grab. Nice job by Trevor Nanny to pitch out of danger in the top of the eighth and keep it right where it stands, a 5-4 Bulldog lead. Hitter Gavin Millines, 0 for 3 day at the plate, but looking to get it going here in the bottom of the 8th as the Hawks search for a come from behind victory here in their first Gulf South Conference game of the year. Bulldogs deals high, ball one. Two no count on Blake Barrett. Strike call, top of the zone. Middle of the order due up for the Bulldogs in the top half of the ninth inning. Barrett, Sisk, and Ross, four, five, and six in the Bulldog order. Hawks trail five to four. Fields it cleanly and a strong throw over to the bag at first in time. One up and one down to open the ninth. Mitch Sisk will be the next batter. But a tough out all day long for the Hawks. Trevor Nanny pitches to him here as he fouls this one back. Nothing in one. Upstairs, ball one. Trevor Nanny back on the mound here in the ninth inning for the Hawks after working a scoreless eighth. This one's hit hard in the outer center. Kraus retreats, backing towards the wall, leaps and makes the grab up against the, against the wall for out number two. Mitch Sis gave that one a ride, but a fine play in center field by Cody Kraus. Puts it away for out number two. Two up and two down in the ninth for the Bulldogs. And Grant Ross representing the last chance for them here in the ninth. Down and away in the dirt, ball one. Coming into this appearance in six innings, and he's worked six scoreless innings. Perfect start to the season for him as this one's fouled off the glove of Logan Stockton for strike one. Nanny had allowed just two hits, no walks, and five strikeouts entering play today. Strong starts 2023 for him. Top options out of the bullpen this season. 1-1 one, one from him here. This is down and in. To even the count of two balls and two strikes. Grant Ross, the freshman from Collierville, Tennessee, got the start today for the Union University Bulldogs. Batting this one slowly to first. McWillie will take one, two, three inning for Trevor Nanny in the top of the ninth. Hawks will come to bat trailing by one. 